time, the Sierra Madre. Mine. Don't move. Don't go into the vault and don't touch anything else. There may be more traps down there. Another security system. Still hiding behind images and screens, I see, hmm? Hiding? Hardly. Trapped. You think you were the first one to unlock the casino door? No, I did it. With other hands, other bodies. After that, the casino wouldn't let go. Once I was locked in, no way out. Until your pit boy signal came to life in the villa. Then, then, uh, things changed. And here you are. You know, you've got a lot to answer for. Do I? For what? Your greed? Curiosity? You came here on your own. No one held a gun to your head. I've seen your Pip-Boy archives, your map markers and notes. You picked up the Sierra Madre signal just as I did. You couldn't resist. So, if you feel I have a lot to answer for, no, the blame isn't on my shoulders. Might as well have put the collar on yourself. You know, he has a point there. Before this goes any further, I had questions. Curious? You must be. We have time now that you've done your work. And our interactions have been too one-sided, even for my tastes. You're Veronica's mentor. The elder who lost Helios I. Veronica? She survived Helios? She would. Resourceful. As for losing Helios One, that was the only outcome aside from retreat. NCR swarming like ants over old world relics. Hoover Dam. Helios. I won't let those children seize anything else. Harden. McNamara can't stop them. Won't. So I will. With the old world as my weapons. You want to attack NCR? All of NCR? Attack? No. Not attack them. Wipe the slate clean. Make the Mojave like it was meant to be. Undisturbed by man. I'll send the cloud. The holograms. Bring ruin in my hands until only I stand atop. The Helios One Tower again. I'll scour Hoover Dam with the cloud, rain its walls with spears from the sun, with an army of old world ghosts behind me, holograms all. I'll kill them until it's only me. Me, alone, in a quiet world, in a world that's nothing like what happened at Helios One. I don't care about the Republic. They're yours to kill. Nah, I don't think that's it. Oh, maybe I should take that. There's something else I want to know. Ask. You still have time. What do you want from the Sierra Madre? What do I want? Weapons. Security. A citadel of my own. The Madre is all these things. It's a fortress. A weapon. A chance to begin again. Once I unlock its archives, I can carve the Mojave into any shape I choose. I don't understand how the Old World, ca old world Casino helps you do any of that. The cloud is unique in my travels. Its proximity to the Sierra Madre isn't a coincidence. Right now it protects this casino, preserves it. It can be used to preserve other old world relics and cleanse them at the same time. And as much as I've researched hologram technology, the big empty facility was clear. Only the Sierra Madre got holograms working properly. Properly? Are you kidding me? Working as murderous death traps, sure. The holograms here kill trespassers. That's what I want. Dump one of those emitters in the middle of any battle, 
There's no defense. It's like holding light in your hands. Can't fight it. Only watch it burn. Just one is a portable army. Arm it. Anyone stands against you, dies. If you secure that, that's all you want? No. There's one last thing I want from the Sierra Madre. It's bounty. The machines that fill its streets, its corridors. They provide, provide almost anything. Perhaps in the pre-war era, they were commonplace, things to dismiss. Now they are far more valuable. You know it. They helped keep you alive. Well, I can't argue with that. Sources of food, supplies, medical assistance, ammo, make more callers, even print currency. Make a nation. The cloud allows me to wipe the slate clean. Callers ensure cooperation. Holograms, defense. The vending machines provide everything else. The Sierra Madre can kill nations and build them, using its technology with the right applications. You're nothing more than a killer that aspires for mass murder. You think I'm a murderer? If I was, I'd have set off your caller long ago. A caller ensures compliance, encourages cooperation. Think about it. Would you truly have gotten into the casino without those callers? No. Human nature is against us, always. Did you know that I had to keep adjusting the colors? Keep changing the rules to make this moment possible? What are you talking about, bro? Every time, even with colors clutched at their necks, they would betray each other, kill each other to get inside the Sierra Madre. It... It was insanity. They could have had it all. It was so close. And... And they kept turning on each other, again and again. Cracking the Sierra Madre was difficult, but cracking greed, that was more difficult. So the dead man switches went in. So you answer madness with madness, huh? When your life is tied to another's, sacrifice and cooperation, they can be conditioned, learned, and you can focus on the matter at hand. Greed can be beaten, contained, controlled. You know it better than anyone. Or I hope you do. It doesn't matter. He's definitely got a point there. Well, now that I'm in here, are you coming down? No. I'm not going to take the chance while I'm so close. Not this close. No. Not again. I can wait. Afford to be careful. You? You're locked down there. This is the only entrance. And I have free reign of the Sierra Madre. I have time. More than you. Besides, there might be more traps. I'll send more scouts in. Yes, others. You're resourceful. Don't want to leave anything more to chance. Then I'll find a way to unlock the secrets of this vault, and take them for myself. You've gotten far. Any farther, try to breach the vault, you become a corpse. What's inside is mine. Anyone else touches it, tries to take it from me, they'll answer for it. I think I've got him on the hook. I, al I already managed to unlock the elevator and get down here before you. You better hurry, Jerkov. This casino is in some caravan safe, and the lock that secures the Sierra Madre vault doesn't hold all its secrets. So there is a lock? Good. <laughs> I wasn't sure until you said so. Find a way inside? You can try. The Sierra Madre is a patient thing, and it has outlasted many who've come to its doors. The punishment often equals a reward for those without the foresight to see what's in store. I'll let you test the security. See how you stand up. 
You know the Sierra Madre's huge combination lock? Me? I've almost cracked it. I've had enough, enough of others stealing from me. I'm coming down. Forget the Sierra Madre security. I'll find you myself. Try to break into the vault, I'll set off the caller. All right, so much for that. So I've uh, gotten Elijah to come on down, and instead of uh, going through the escape, which I've already done in the last stream, I'm just going to uh, load the villa sequence and close this video out for a highlight. You've heard stories of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. This story's different than the others. It's all in promise of beginnings. And the ending. Dog forgot himself, as did the voice that raged within him. After their passing, a new voice spoke within the mutant shell. It was difficult for the voice to remember the two it once was. There was the beast, dog, consumed by hunger. And the other in reverse, the one consumed by control. Both were driven by need for the other. The courier brought them together somehow, joined the two into one. All that happened at the Sierra Madre was a faint memory to the new personality, like a flickering light in the clouds of the mind. The new voice did not think of the courier again until the Battle of the Divide reached his ears. The battle between the two couriers, beneath the torn skies and the old world flag, each bearing a message for the other. And the mutant prayed the courier that had saved him had been saved in return. Dean Domino. Entertainer, singer, thief, had his last show on the Sierra Madre stage. The heist he spent over 200 years planning fell apart, just as the first, by underestimating his partner's strength. Not long after the courier left the villa, the lights in the theater shut off one by one. Only Dean's hologram remained on the stage, singing silently to an empty room. Still, as consumed as he had been with its riches and ruin, the Sierra Madre had held him captive long ago. Christine, her mission complete, found new purpose as the Sierra Madre's warden. She watched over it silently by choice. Over time, the ghost people came to see her as one of the holograms. They would watch silently as she walked among them. At times, Christine thought of the courier, who had kept Elijah's hand from her throat. The courier reminded her of the other courier she had met in the Big Empty, and wondered if the two had found each other at last. She did not think of them again until she heard the legends of the Divide. The Divide where the two messengers, the two couriers, fought beneath an ancient flag at the edge of the world. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses. Some foolishness about it lying in the middle of a city of dead. A city of ghosts, buried beneath a blood-red cloud. A bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. An illusion that you can begin again. Change your fortunes. Finding it, though, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Wait a moment. Before you go, I... 
We hope you've enjoyed your stay. Farewells can be a time of sadness. Letting go, difficult. As a guest of the Sierra Madre, you know that truth more than anyone. Frederick Sinclair believed one's life could be made anew every day. That fortunes were more than the wealth in your hands. Love. Life. Family. Those to care for, and those who will care for you. To those who know these joys, the Sierra Madre holds little they don't already have. Out in the world, beyond these walls, that is your chance to begin again. I hope you'll return in happier times. Until then, the Sierra Madre and I will hold you in our hearts. <laughs>